Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. So, uh, this is yet another <laughs> Pisces daily reading for the collective. Doesn't matter what your placement is or what your relation is to Pisces, why you came by, okay? Um, this is just a little peek into the energies that might be at play for you. This is the Energy Oracle deck and I am going to be asking um, for the Pisces that will be watching this, if there is an important message that needs to be received by somebody out there, okay? Remember, not every reading is for everybody. So just take what makes sense for you, leave the rest behind. I'm going to start with this and sort of build out on it, okay? We have adjacent possibilities. Pisces, I like this. So we see here there's not just one door, there's lots of different doors. For someone here it says many unconsidered options hmm okay so sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand yet every movement gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course whether it's in your thoughts behaviors Ma or major life decisions. Unlike the indecision cards, which indicates confusion or going back and forth about which course to take, the adjacent possibilities card is to tell you that you actually have many options and it's, con it's time to take a wider look at things. So as you consider the many life choices available, you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the decisions that bring happiness strength and forward motion in terms of your goals this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas maybe there's a marketing tool you haven't thought of a connection that you haven't tapped or even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you be conscious be aware and be flexible and willing to take new and different action now the affirmation here says i'm open and willing to take my life in new directions I am becoming more aware of many options for harmony and optimism in my thoughts and in my choices each day. Okay, so I like this, Pisces. So for some of you, it might be a need to rather than look at the options available to you as something to get very confused about or something that we get like incredibly invested on, and wanting to know, well, which one is the right one, right? Give me one <laughs> and make it clear so that I know is to say like, well, maybe you're someone who has um, always managed to sort of be good at almost anything you do. Um, or you've managed to sort of, you know, you met, maybe you're not the best at it, but you succeed. And then it feels like, well, if I'm successful at a, a lot of different things, is anything in here in particular my true path? Like, what's the true path? And this feels like it's telling you if there is a goal or if there's something you're trying to get to, that there could be just more ways of doing it um, that you might not have seen yet. Uh, this is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Haven't used it in a while. It's one of my favorite decks. I'm a sucker for things without borders. <laughs> So let's take a look here, Pisces. If you want to follow my official social medias, there's links down below. Beware of scammers in the comments, all that ish, okay? So let's just take a look at what's going on here. Thank you to all my returning subscribers, my members, the flood of people who just keep on coming in and leaving me wonderful comments, who feel like you connect with the work that I do. I appreciate every single one of you. And hey, if you're in here and you're like, this reader's not for me, I don't like what she does, I wish you all the best with lots of love, okay? Move on, find whoever does work for you. There's thousands of possibilities, okay? Um, so don't worry about it. Let's see. So yeah, okay, so we have the fool at the bottom of the deck here, some Aries energy. Um, this kind of it almost embodies this adjacent possibilities energy, right? Of like feeling like you're going to step off the cliff um, <laughs> into whatever it is that you are wanting to experience or manifest into your life here, Pisces. And it's almost like whatever, like all, wherever the roads are going to take this person, they're open to it, you know? They're kind of like, okay, let's see where this goes. Let's see how it happens. They have a lot of tools with them. If you see there, they have their little bindle, <laughs> their little bag sticking there with all of their tools. And they have what they need to do this part of the journey, right? To get to the next step. So 
don't go doubting yourself on that, I would think. Um, in what you're moving away from as far as past energies, we have Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Empress. Um, so this could be that there are some... It feels almost like a... I wanted to say lies. <laughs> That's interesting. So they're kind of like lies, but what are they about? Possibly about an inspiration or path. I mean, we have Ace of Wands here. Could be about a flirtation. We have a little Taurus energy down here, um, but don't get too hung up on the signs because Empress energy is available to everybody, right? So for some of you, it feels like there could have been almost like feeling uh, tricked by a certain path Feeling like there was, hmm, it's almost like there was a certain road that you had to take. Could have been a person, Knight of Cups. Okay, so in the past here, this is the uh, Dream Keepers Tarot for anybody who is interested. I don't think I have it linked down below yet, but that's the name of it. So you have the Knight of Cups in reverse here with the Seven of Swords. So for some of you, um, this might have been a difficulty following a dream or maybe an unrealistic expectation. It could have also been a person um, for which you could have held expectations, dreams, or fantasies about. Um, but it's going to be different for every one of you, right? Just take it the way that it resonates. The reversal of the Knight of Cups for me is kind of difficult. It's a difficult energy. And it's, um, it's difficult because if this is representing a person to you, this is someone who tends to really believe what they're saying, even though their follow through, their actions and stuff don't match. Okay. They're all of that. It feels out of sync, but they, they truly believe that what they're saying. Um, and if you ask them point blank, they'd be like, well, of course I'm honest about this, that, or the other. Um, I'm, I'm doing everything with integrity, but they're not seeing uh, the ways that they're, those things aren't in sort of alignment, right? The things they're saying, but the things they're doing. Um, it's really kind of odd energy. And it's difficult to deal with because when somebody can't see, you can't, it's hard to make them see if they don't want to see it. So it feels like you might have dealt with a person um, or a situation where that that's kind of the vibe. If it's not a specific person, it could have been a vibe that's a little bit like that. Um, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Fool in reverse. So this feels like you could have previously had plans um, or an inspiration or something like that that was we're having a lot of trouble getting off the ground the inspiration is still there it's still very much there like if we see here this person is kind of like willing this little shoot out of the ground right um to sort of nurture it. So it feels like this is almost connected to this wand here, but there might have been, I'm almost wanting to say like an upside down way that it was being viewed at the time. So maybe you launched something, you thought it was gonna be the thing, or maybe you went after a particular relationship or a particular study in school or whatever that happened to be, and something didn't, um, it was like almost like a non-starter, like a hard to launch kind of thing for some reason. So it feels like there's something here that is, is just being worked through. You have the Empress with the Strength card, which is very, very interesting energy sort of foundationally. The Empress could be, for some of you, something to do with motherhood here, but I'm not getting that as strong. Though take it however it resonates. This seems like whatever you were persevering through, even though you're, you have the ability to create whatever you want and receive whatever you want, there was also something that had to do with endurance and having to try and keep your, your cool through a situation that may have ultimately, as you're trying to dance this dance, felt very restrictive, right? And uh, felt like it was... I'm wanting to, it was taxing, whatever this was. 
um, back here, but you still have like this person who's in the strength card, if you see behind their back, even though they're kind of wrapped up in this snaky kind of energy, which could be a rebirth. This could be a, uh, a challenge or something that you are dealing with. They have a key in their back pocket. <laughs> so there is a way out, right? There's a way out of whatever this is. Um, and it feels like for a lot of you, you found it, but it wasn't necessarily easy, right? It's pretty taxing. Um, we have in what you're moving into or what you're accepting right now, we have six of pentacles, five of cups, queen of cups. Um, so a little bit of sadness and regret, sure, kind of sitting here, hanging out. But it seems, Pisces, that with all of the possibilities that are available, like this card is so such a great depiction of having more than one possibility, right? This person can look around and not just the cups. It isn't just about the cups that are behind them. There's also not just the river of sadness and the stuff that they see over there, but there's a way, right? There's that key through that bridge that can take them to it. Um, so there could very well be for some, a new investment opportunity or something that you might find yourself paying attention to. Sorry, <laughs> my phone alarm went off, so I had to go take care of that. Um, yeah, so new, something that is newer and more balanced. I also feeling almost like a little gift that you might be receiving here. You have the Queen of Cups down here. For some of you, it could be love or attention in the love sphere. Um, but for others, it's like this is very much having the focus of this queen, right? You've come through whatever this was back here with this Empress energy, and then now focusing in a little bit more on what it is that you love. Um, what you'd love to do, how, how the kind of life that you would love to lead. I feel like that vision might be, um, for some of you, something that you're trying to kind of accept and move into here. Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, Four of Wands. Hmm. So two of swords, it's almost like, I feel like some of you are, are having a lot of trouble accepting a gift here. And like, there's a bit of, it's like coming out of indecision with the two of swords, making your choice. Because in the upright, this is more like we're stalling a little bit and going like, I could do this, I could do that. And this feels like coming out of that, but there's a lot of um, mental energy that feels a little uh, blocky blocky here. So this could just be that some of you might want to reframe your thought process, uh, try to find ways to do that. Um, yeah, Eight of Swords. There's so much just kind of hidden in this. Like at the heart of everything, this is such a pure heart and this sort of angelic being I think really wants to take flight away from whatever this sort of imprisonment is here some of you are really realizing how much your thoughts have held so something back here for you um, because the eight of swords can also indicate when we feel like no matter which way we go we're gonna get cut like we're gonna kind of it's when we're in sort of like danger mode in a way and that's what part of the paralysis is right maybe that analysis paralysis here but it feels like this is telling you especially where we, we're going it, it's telling you that you have the tools right the, the fool has that bag on their back there's more than one way to get there and the hangman's right under it so it's like trying to find this perspective out of anxiety and confusion to your happiness right so it feels like this picking a different path um, or picking a path and going like, yeah, there's other stuff there that I could do too. Um, there's people perhaps that you could tap into. Um, for some, I'm wanting to say that there could have been some, some issues at home, especially that may have been really sort of taking your attention. And it seems like that is sort of perhaps being worked out to a degree. But there might be for some of you a need to just accept where things are 
especially if it's connected to this past energy here. Because um, like I said, sometimes if there's someone around us who cannot see what they are doing, they don't understand how their actions, words, and behaviors don't come together. Um, I know I've encountered people, right? <laughs> like who just like, they don't have the same self-awareness as everybody else. And so it's like, uh, someone tells you a story and they say, well, this is the way that it was. And then later on, you speak to them again and they're like, well, it was like, this is the way that it was, but it's a very different interpretation of it. And it's kind of like, you know, tend to be forgiving and sort of like, okay, maybe their perspective that just changed. But then you talk to them again and it's like, no, this is the way it was. And it's kind of like, okay, well, which one's true? Like, I'm not really sure. Are you just like reinventing the thing? Like, I'm getting a little bit of that. You could be dealing with that kind of energy. Um, yeah, so for some of you, there could be some sort of interpersonal or like family-based relationship, something at home or to do with a home that's like, I've got that for some reason here. But it feels like there's more than one way to possibly deal with it. And it might just be, sometimes you just got to let people figure it out. You know, <laughs> you just got to be like, that's cool. You're your own person. You're your own responsibility. You need to, you need to figure it out. Um, we have in your future energy here, we have the Emperor, so sort of mature en Aries energy, Knight of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, and we have the Knight of Pentacles, so earthy, earthy stuff here. So it's interesting we have your Empress back here, um, and I feel like with the Strength card being sort of restrained and being like kind of held back as you were sort of enduring something, but then this wonderful feeling in the future of independence from whatever it is um, that they were dealing with before. So manage to make a place for themselves and be able to also listen to the signs with some surety because you've, you've managed to traverse whatever this is, right? This feels like they have this, um, they have this bird, right? This sort of hunting bird <laughs> on their, um, on their arm there. And that's to say that like they can, they have a lot of discipline that takes a lot of time and they're able to have like forward vision as well and be able to plan out into the future with a lot of confidence and surety. So this feels very nice, this sort of empress and waiting energy coming in for you, okay? And Knight of Wands, I think it's a lot of your excitement possibly returning. You could also have a fire sign person since we have a lot of fire here. But this feels like getting... Um, getting sort of organized and taking control of whatever the choices are going to be on the adventure because it seems like it, it's wanting to take you in the direction of something that is ultimately stable okay um and the journey sometimes there's like obviously there's going to be obstacles that we have those pyramids down underneath the night there so i mean it's not free of obstacles right everybody has to deal with an obstacle or two um but the knight of wands is like here for the party anyway they're there for the adventure they want they want to see um where it's gonna go you have the justice card knight of swords yeah two of wands mm -hmm. this to me is telling me whatever path you pick you're on the right path this two of wands feels like there's the stuff that you have right and there's a new path that's there but I'm, I'm getting more like whatever path you pick is the right path, ultimately, because there's so many different ways that you could go about it. It's more about being up for the adventure. You have Knight of Swords here, so you could deal with some air energy, um, some quick moving, lots of communication. I'm... I don't normally get that. That's interesting. For some reason, I was wanting to say gossip. I think it has to do with those birds. <sighs> it's almost like a flutter of birds. And if you see here how this, how this person, their whole demeanor while all of this sort of fluttery energy is around them is just poised in moving forward. It's sort of like head down, sword forward, being a straight shooter, being ambitious, and going for it. So this feels like the thoughts and passions are aligning with a lot of action that you might be taking here, which feels really nice. And then we have justice with the emperor. So some Libra energy. 
I feel like for a lot of you, there's a you taking the lead in some area of your life that's important to you is very much what needs to happen to sort of be the cause and effect of whatever outcome you're looking for. It feels like this leadership is very much tied to this sense of justice. Mm hmm. Yeah. As I'm like, do you see how their head is kind of like something to do with knowledge? It's like an egg, but it's broken open if you look closely. There's like butterflies and stuff flying out of it. This is almost giving me like Athena vibes, like Zeus and I believe it was Athena in Greek mythology who sprung out of Zeus's head. Like that's how she was born. Some of you might want to look up that mythology. It might speak to you or have some significance to you. But it's almost like the, the thing that you're working towards, that you're trying to find a new way about. It's like, if we're thinking about the cause and effect, right? Our future is seeded by our present and our, our present is seeded by our past, right? Those things all lead together. And we can look back and connect those dots. But while we're moving forward, we don't always see that the time that we decided that we were like, look, I'm making a choice. I'm going towards things that are more reciprocal. I'm, I'm going to stop assuming danger around every turn here. I'm going to like just be nurturing, be loving, pour love into myself, trust, and move away from whatever this sort of strange um, and very frustrating sort of um, like sneaky energy. I'm not sure if it's sneaky or deceptive. It's something about it just isn't true. Like that's the thing. And I feel like a lot of you know it and have been trying to like move away from it. And there's something about taking the, the lead, taking control in something, not suffering any fools. Like the emperor wouldn't suffer, suffer fools <laughs> for a second. Um, that could be the, just the thing that you need to get there. Yeah, you have death at the bottom of your clarifying deck here. So it's all about this new sort of leap, right? Leading to a rebirth and something being completely new, completely new through this process. Very interesting. So it feels like that's sort of what's getting turned around here for you, Pisces. I'm going to give you one more Oracle. This is wisdom of the oracle is there something here i'm wanting to ask like is there a message that i haven't covered that pisces needs <laughs> breathe <laughs> pretty self-explanatory but so if you see here we have someone who's there engaging in their meditation, right? <laughs> They're allowing themselves a little time to breathe in and breathe out. Um, make sure that whatever you're dealing with here, especially if there's a lot of fast moving energy, it looks like in your future, um, a little, maybe a little brash stuff could be hangover from what you were dealing with before here. Giving yourself time to center ground, um, take care of yourself, listen, you know, allow yourself to listen. Some of you breath work might be the thing that's very helpful. And like creating a place of peace for yourself. This could be somewhere in your environment, especially what I'm getting from this nine of pentacles is like this person has created this environment for themselves um, so that they can benefit from that vibe that's there. So um, for some of you, that might be of a lot of importance right now. And it's almost like I wanted to say like different kinds of self-care too. Like meditation doesn't have to be uh, the lotus position sitting like that. It is good to do it quietly and sitting, but some people connect through physical activity. Some people connect, um, like I like to do my sort of brain shut off time in the bath or the shower. Um, there's all kinds of different ways that you can go about it. And for some reason, different kinds of self-care. I'm wanting to tell some of you, if you have not done something um, to take care of yourself, because you've sort of disregarded your needs in some way. 
Um, so the, the easiest thing I can think of is like a haircut. <laughs> like say you haven't gone and had a for real salon haircut in a really long time. Um, it could be just something simple like that, where it's like this person, this kind of energy knows when to spend time on themselves and allows themselves to have those things where they can. And like with that example, like sometimes there's there's ways to go about it without spending a ton of money. You don't have to go somewhere super upscale. Um, doesn't matter if you go to super cuts or like I've known I've had family members who went to like those, um, you know, the training schools or whatever like that, where you can get there will be massage students who give massages at a discounted rate or there will be um, like esthetician students who give, you know, when they're all being supervised and their work is being checked and all of that kind of stuff. It can be a lot cheaper, but something to take care of yourself with. Let yourself sort of get into that vibe. That's what I got for you today, Pisces. I hope something in here was helpful to you. Um, if so, and you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to click on that little button and turn it gray. Um, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one, okay? Lots of love. Bye now.